In this video, I will show you how to write unit tests on function that contains HTTP network requests in Flutter. So in my main code here, I have created a function named fetch album that make HTTP get requests to a fake JSON server and check if status code returns 200 past the JSON response to an album class that I have created and return the album object. If the response status code returns other than 200, it will just throw an exception. So this is the album class that I have created according to the JSON response. And I use this factory to create a from JSON method that can be used to parse the key value pair into the data class. Before we start writing unit tests, let's call this method and check if it works by returning the data. So when I click on the elevated button, you can see that the album data is printed in the terminal. So this method is working fine. Now I will show you how to write unit tests on this fetch album function. To write unit tests in Flutter, we needed to import some packages. Firstly, we need Flutter test library. This library by default is added to your Flutter project. Next is build runner package, then HTTP package for creating HTTP client, and lastly, Mockito package to mock the network request. Coming back to our project pubspec.yaml file, in dev dependencies, you can see that there is a Flutter test added by default, and add Mockito and build runner under dev dependencies. Packages under dev dependency will not be loaded into your application. So in your Flutter folder structure, you can see that there is a test folder created by default. This test folder is where you add your unit test files. By default, you should have a widget test.dart file inside this folder when you create a Flutter project. In this tutorial, I will create a new file and start from scratch. So I will call this file fetch album unit test.dart. Inside this unit test file, firstly, we have to add a void main function. This is the entry of the unit test. Then we have to import all the required packages such as Flutter test, HTTP, and Mockito. Now to write unit tests in Flutter, there are three steps to follow. Firstly, evaluate the targeted function code. So coming to our fetch album function, what does this function do? We can see that in this function, firstly, it makes a HTTP GET request to the provided URL. Then it checks if the response is 200, it returns a parse album object else it throws an exception so this means that this function has only two possible outcomes either returns an album object or return an exception for unit tests we don't have to know much about the implementation we focus more on testing the behavior coming back to our unit test file firstly we have to mock the http client using generate mock annotation from the Mockito package. This annotation helps to generate all the required configuration for HTTP client. Now, second step is to write group tests. We use this group tests is because we know that this method contains two possible outcomes so we can group them together and run just one time. So here I have given a name called fetch album to this group test. And in the function, we have to write a success test and a failure test. To start a test, we have to use test function from Flutter test library and provide a name and a function body.
Now the third step is to mock the network request. So you might wonder why do we need to mock the network request? There are three reasons to it. Firstly, calling live services or databases will slow down test execution. Secondly, a passing test might start failing if a web service or database returns unexpected results. Thirdly, it is difficult to test all possible success and failure scenarios by using a live web service or database. As I mentioned earlier, unit tests focus more on behavior than the actual implementation. So firstly, we have to create a mock client using the Mockito package. Then to generate the client code, we have to run dot run build runner build command in the terminal. This build command will generate a file that contains the configuration that we have added in the annotation in line number 6, which is the HTTP client. Once the build succeeded, you can see that it has generated a configuration file under your test file. Now you just have to import the file and you can use the mock client. Then we can start the unit test by executing when function. Inside when function, we will use the mock client object to execute the get request to the specific URL path. Then we have to execute dot then answer function and returns a mock response album object with 200 status code. So the success response implementation does not matter to us. What's matter is the success behavior. Now we can execute expect function which takes an actual and a matcher parameters. In actual parameter, we will pass in the fetch album function. Matcher parameter is what it expects to match with the response of actual parameter. So the matcher parameter will check if the response is an album object. Now we have completed our unit test for success case. Next goes to the failure case. Again, we will start by creating a test function with a different test name. The body function is about the same as the success case, so we can copy and paste some similar code and modify accordingly. So the differences is instead of returning a mock success album object with 200 status code, for failure case, we have to return a random string response value with other status code than 200 because the actual fetch album function checks only 200. So I will replace with 404. Then the expect function is about the same, it's just that the matcher now expect a throw exception. Now we have completed the unit test for failure case and our group test is now completed too. Now let's run our fetch album group test. To run the test file, we have to use flutter test command followed by the test file path, which in our case is test slash fetch album unit test dot dot. So the test failed. Let's check the error. So it says type integer is not a subtype of type string error. And it happens in the success case. This is because our model has set the title as string, but the mock response that I provided has an integer value as title. So I will just convert the value to string. Now let's run the test again. So the test failed again, and this time it stated that it happens in the failure case where an exception returned. 
in our failure unit test, we added the matcher as throw exception rather than an exception. To fix this, you can either change the matcher to exception or remove a weight in the actual function. Now let's try to run the test file again. Finally, you can see that it says all tests passed. Another major benefit of unit tests is that whenever someone modifies your code or you modify someone's code, for example, I change the status code check to 202, it will fail the unit test. Conclusion This is how you write unit tests on network requests in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.